Hey everybody, Josh here with you at the Marshall Auto Exchange. Going to bring you our 2017 Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid. This is actually my pers- my actually my wife's personal vehicle. She drives this every day. Um, just decided to upgrade, get a little bit newer unit. Um, so we are selling this one. This vehicle is awesome. It's a hybrid model. It's got a lot of great features in it. And I will show you all that here in just a second. Um, but lots of great bells and whistles. This unit has, I want to say, 45,000 miles on it. Uh, but that does change as we're still driving it daily. And this unit is not going to be kept on the lot. We're going to obviously keep driving it daily. So if you'd like to see it, you do need to call and schedule an appointment. So we can get it here and get it cleaned up for you to look at. All in all, it's in great shape. Runs and drives awesome. No mechanical issues that we are aware of. We bought it with 2,000 miles. It's got about 45,000 miles on it now. Um, service has been done regularly here in town at the Chrysler dealership. We just put new tires on it last fall. And it's a really nice vehicle. So right now the vehicle is running. You can't hear it because it's in hybrid mode. Um, eventually once the uh, battery runs down a little bit more, the engine will just automatically kick on and take over. It does have a charging port. So every night when you get home, go ahead and plug it in. Plug it in. Um, get home at 5, plug it in. By morning it will be fully charged. And you can go, I want to say it's 32 miles on a full charge um, as long as you, you uh, drive it nice. So as long as you don't need to go from 0 to 100, um, it will uh, should get you about 32 miles on a full charge, which is nice, especially when gas prices go back up. Uh, the other thing that is nice about this vehicle, um, when you get on it, you know, you're in a hurry, the motor seamlessly transitions from electric to, to gasoline power or combustion power um, to give you that extra boost of power and drive. Lots of cameras and safety features on this vehicle. So you've got 360 display, there's mirrors here, or excuse me, there's a camera under both mirrors, camera on the front of the vehicle under the Chrysler logo and then obviously your backup camera on the back side it has blind spot detection as well as lane departure warning so you can see the little triangle here um, that is your blind spot warning so coming inside you have leather heated and cooled front seats uh, both front seats are powered power windows power mirrors power door locks this is your fuel gas fuel cap release <coughs> Automatic lights and your dimmer switches. This is your information center, so you can flip through here, um, see all of your, your hybrid stuff, um, your fuel economy, all that stuff. So a lot of great options here on the driver information center. It's got 45, it's hard to see, 45, 953 as of today. Lots of features and options on the touch screen here. So this is the 360 display. As soon as you put it in reverse, the 360 display illuminates. And you can see it, the camera under both mirrors, underneath the Chrysler logo, and then the rear hatch. If you want a close-up, you're pulling into the garage, you want to get a little bit closer view, you can turn it on to that camera. Really zoom in. Um, full screen on the backup camera. Whatever function you prefer, you've got a lot of options there. Inside the Uconnect system, you've got a ton of Uconnect apps. This vehicle does have a Blu-ray player. A dual DVD system, which I'll show you in a second. Radio controls are here. Parking. So this vehicle also has park assist, so uh, tight parking spot. It'll park itself. Really cool feature. Reverse beepers, lane departures. So when you're going down the road, if you uh, actually if you let go of the steering wheel um, and you start to veer towards the lane, the vehicle will auto correct itself back to the center of the lane with this button here. So that's a cool feature. Climate controls are here. Parking brake. It's kind of a crap collector down here your dvd player as i mentioned then you have two 12 volt chargers down below two cup holders here two more in the back for your rear passengers this vehicle has a remote start it's got about every option you can get on it um with the exception of a sunroof both doors open you can turn the doors off your power lift gate go ahead and take a look at the next second row one of my favorite features about this is the door opener so if you have little kids, obviously it's tough for them to open doors. All they have to do is just push this little button here, the door will open and close. So I really like that feature. These second row seats slide forward and back. So if you need extra room for car seats or rear passengers, it's built for convenience with that. This is the Uconnect system. So if you want to play games on here, if your kids are a little bigger, or adults. My wife and I actually sat back here and played checkers one time. It was pretty fun. You can play all sorts of games. If you want to watch the DVD... Go back to the home screen, open up the DVD, 
and you can watch the movie. So quick, easy, fun features. It's really fun to use. Car rides fly by when you can play with this thing. It's a lot of fun. HDMI cables, head ports. It does have two sets of headphones. However, if you want to use the traditional aux, aux cord, you can plug that in there as well. One remote for each system or each screen. And then you have climate controls in the back up above. You have vents in the ceiling as well as ventilation into the floor. Nice feature. And then nice LED dome lights. Both doors have curtains on. All the windows in the back have curtains. So you can just lift that little shade up there that's hidden in the door. I have it up back here. And actually, if you ride in the third row, it's very roomy. There's a lot of room back here in the third row. It's really comfortable. Um, they got cup holders back here and everything. So it's really comfortable, cozy ride. So These windows do roll down as well. Then coming to the rear hatch. Stone go seating in the third row, so these seats will drop down into the floor to give you flat storage. If you have them up, there's still a lot of room back here because these are deep. It's about a, I don't know, 8, 10 inch drop down to the bottom. And then you can stack stuff up higher, obviously. Your plug-in kit, if you choose to travel with it, they have a compartment built for that, so you don't have to have that flopping around. Good design by Chrysler there as well. And then just a quick view of the whole vehicle. And then close it. So right now the vehicle's running, so this whole time it's just been on electric mode. It's great when you pull up the stop signs, the vehicle will just shut off, it'll wait. If you're driving down the highway and the battery's full, you can cruise down the highway at 55, 60 miles an hour. Um, really saves on gas. It's a nice vehicle, great features. If you're interested in scheduling a test drive on this vehicle, you can give us a call or text at 507-531-AUTO. That's 507-531-2886, or you can find us online at marshallautoexchange.com.